Hey everyone, so I know that this update's apparently probably already out by the time you watch this, the Smash 3.0.0 update, but this landed yesterday while I was sleeping and, and spending some time with some family, so uh, I actually have not watched it at all, it's 15 minutes and 27 seconds, so I figured I might as well live react, or well not really live react I guess, I just react in general uh, to what's in this thing, I obviously know about Stage Builder and Joker, because uh, that stuff is stuff we knew about before this, but uh, 15 minutes and 27 seconds. Let's uh, let's see what Nintendo has in store for us. Starting off with Joker. Good start. Steals the show. Joker, it's the moment you've been waiting for. So many legendary fighters! Awesome! Awesome! Uh, are you sure he can handle this? I mean, he's got a knife and a gun. I'm sure he'll be fine. I don't know. It looked pretty tough. So different costumes, obviously. Harness the power of the heart to summon a persona. Unleash the rebellious spirit growing inside you. Persona! Oh, he's got like his own little meter. Okay. Nice. Oh, See, I don't know Arsene. anything about the Persona series. Arsene. This must Can't be something. Can you use a more powerful here. Persona? What are you talking about? Arsene is awesome. It's Joker's main Persona. As long as you hold on to your rebellious spirit, Arsene will give your attacks an extra punch. Wow! He can use wings instead of his grappling hook. If Joker is attacked while Arsene is around, he can counterattack with Tetracarn and Makarakarn. A counter that's also a reflect? Is that even allowed? Hmm. This is cool. Mementos? The what? Birth from the from the See, masses, I've, right? I've never played Persona, yes. so this is just crazy. And Mementos has a little secret. Isn't its entire existence a secret? Oh, look the at that color, color change. changes depending on the music. Oh, nice. Oh, music Seriously? That's awesome. I can hardly believe my okay, eyes. That's cool. I mean, yeah, you have to get that. This is pretty cool. Now's our chance. Let's help him out. Witness the power of the Phantom Thieves. Go! Oh, link for a second. Beat him up. That was Link. Link was in, what, what just happened? Smash is looking cool, <laughs> eh, Joker? Okay. I mean, he's definitely unique. I, I got I got to get Sakurai and a team that is that's unique. He's <laughs> just taking everyone's stuff. All right. I'm guessing he fits in the giant gap over there. <laughs> hey. All right. As the ultimate roster comes closer. To the the version 3.0 update for the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate game is almost here. What are we adding, you ask? You're about to find out. But first. But first. Part of Channel Track 1, Joker, the stage, music. As part of the Fighter's Pass, Challenger Pack 1 introduces Joker from Persona 5. With his cunning moves and knack for knives, opponents will fall victim to Joker's masterful manipulation. For his neutral special, he wields a gun. To shoot continuously, press and hold the button or repeatedly tap it. While shooting, you can also dodge forward, backward, or in midair. His up special fires a grappling hook. It can be aimed at a diagonal angle, or you can use it to pull opponents closer and latch onto edges. Yeah, it's a big part of this recovery. His side special invokes Aha with a mere finger snap. Oh, nice. The initial hit isn't very strong, but it does inflict additional damage over time. Reminds me of Nintendo. 
and know this, these are not even their final forms. The full power of these special moves must be unleashed. The trick is down special Rebel's Guard. Joker's Rebellion Gauge fills up slowly over time, when he gets hit by an opponent or when he's behind in terms of damage or stock. And by using Rebel's Guard, he can fill the gauge faster while reducing any damage received by half. Okay. If you press and hold the button after the move is activated, you can even defend from combo attacks. When you release the button, the opponent will get knocked back. Nice. Once his Rebellion Gauge is full, persona. he'll unmask and summon a manifestation of his persona, Arsene. Until the gauge runs out, Arsene will assist Joker in a powerful way. Return! Okay. With his persona cool. at his side, Joker can deal additional damage with each attack. Unique. And beyond that, his special move will really. change. His neutral special upgrades to gun special. It handles the same as before, only now he'll fire three bullets per shot. His up special transforms into Wings of Rebellion. Using Arsene's wings, you'll swiftly rise up. While this move won't deal damage, it will make you invincible for a time. So, have a safe flight. Wow, it makes you invincible. For his side special, Arsene invokes An invincible Aegeon. recovery, wow. This large blast repeatedly hits opponents, inflicting them with longer lasting additional damage. His down special performs one of two counter attacks, each triggering automatically. For melee attacks, you'll counter with Tetracarn. And projectiles can be deflected with Makarakarn. Oh, by the way, Arsene is completely invincible. And then there's Joker's final smash, All Out Attack. After cutting through foes, he'll launch a coordinated strike with the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. Okay. All right. In case the first slice didn't cut it, you can try again once more by tilting the control stick back in the other direction. Arsene doesn't change Joker's final smash. Oh, that's cool. So if you miss on the initial so final smash, use it whenever you want. Potentially get it back. Nice. I don't know how they balance this character. Joker's victory screen replicates the one in Persona 5. The Phantom Thieves have something to say about his victories, too. When Joker taunts, Morgana shows up. Looking cool, Joker! <laughs> his alternate costume is his Shujin Academy uniform. Good thing he can use his glasses to summon Arsene. We're also adding in the new stage, Mementos. In this mysterious underground, many twists and turns will come your way during battle. And before long, the Phantom Thieves of Hearts will rush to the scene in the Morgana car. If you count the arrangements, 11 music tracks will be added in. They're not only from Persona 5, but also from Persona 4 and Persona 3. Nice. Okay. I like that. A little bit of the whole series. When one of these tracks from Persona 3 or Persona 4 plays at mementos, the color of the stage and background will change. Set your preferred playback ratio in My Music. The victory screen changes in the same way when Joker wins. Right. Cool. Challenger Pack 1 will include the new fighter Joker, his stage As Mementos, said, and the Persona today. music tracks when it launches on April 17th. April 17th. Cool. If you purchase this pack, you'll also get a Joker route in classic mode and open up a special version of the Spirit Board. You can also purchase the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Fighters Pass for access to this Challenger Pack and all others for a total of five packs. We're currently hard at work on the other fighters. Keep an eye out for news about them in the future. Paid DLC Me Fighter.
Is it just based on Persona? Yeah, okay. I'm a chef, chef, so like this part of the I don't really play with me very much. I probably should uh, try out some new characters. It's been a while. I was wondering, I mean, bro. Not that I'm good at this. I try to win. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog? Oh. And you have to pay. I don't know what happened to pay for this. Time's already. It's the game. I understand the Persona stuff being tied to the Persona content. I don't know about having to pay to access the Sonic content. The new Mii Fighter costumes will be available for and purchase Sonic April 17th. Uh, with more to come, come in on. the future. I know it's probably part of the... Is it part of the Fighter Pass too? No. No, it's not part of the Fighter Pass? Come on, Nintendo. Stop piecemealing crap Let's like cover that. The new you guys content don't accept these kind of micro version 3.0 update. Uh, okay. Anyways. This is what upset me about the Wii U version was these kind of micro connections. Here we go. Make your own stages and try them out immediately with the new stage builder. In handheld mode, you can freely draw using the touch screen. That's cool. Create moving platforms. Spinning platforms. Whatever strikes you. There are even new stage elements to choose from. Huh. And there are front and back layers. Nice. By changing layers, you can add decorative elements to your stages. That's cool. Uh, I, you guys gotta admit, that's pretty cool. When you finish a stage, you can battle there by selecting it from this tab on the stage select screen. Video editor, woo! Now you can import videos saved to your Nintendo Switch system to a timeline and splice them together. I don't know why this isn't just like an application. Editing is very Switch. simple. Just like, pick we the shouldn't parts have to you use want to Smash keep. to do this. Like they should just have a video editing. Add some background on music. No, maybe that's just. Me. And subtitles. And choose how to transition from scene to scene. Once your video is complete, simply export it. You it's could really keep cool it all tool. to yourself, it, but creations like, are meant to be shared, on. aren't they? You share to social media. You can view gameplay videos and stages created and uploaded by users around the world. Oh, never mind. It's just a snatch only thing. Beyond viewing players' videos and replays, you can also upload and download Mii Fighters and stages. Oh, cool. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. If you find something you like, give it a yeah. Or you can even follow the person who posted it. That's cool. I, I do like that addition to the game. Oh, an app? Smash World is a service found in the Nintendo Switch Online app for smart devices. Oh, they're finally adding a new game to the... The app already yeah. supports voice chat. Yeah, I know that. And now, you'll be able to easily view recommended videos and stages in Smash World without starting up the game. Well, at least they're finally doing something with the app. That's interesting. It's streamed via YouTube Gaming. Okay, so can, can, can we also upload the videos, videos to our YouTube channel? Fighter. They obviously partner with YouTube for the videos. Recommended stages can be viewed stuff. in one place. If you find some you like, 
simply tap the queued downloads button. The next time you start up Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, That's you'll cool. be able you to download them to your system. From your phone, download them. From your you can also check in-game notifications here. Or see, this is a, a new spirit thing. team by using spirits in your collection. Yeah, this see, this is useful. This is the kind of stuff I don't mind them doing with the online. The app. version 3.0 update of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate will be released on April 17th. Okay. I mean, it's pretty cool. I don't know. I mean, I, the stage builder is a lot cooler than I thought. I, I like all the online stuff. Joker looks interesting. Very unique character. So, uh, cool. I hope you guys are enjoying playing this new update today. Uh, who knows? Maybe we'll check out the stage builder or something later. I do not currently have the DLC purchased. I uh, will not be purchasing it today because Joker is not necessarily a character I am caring about. I'm kind of waiting till, uh characters that, that get unveiled that I care about. Uh, but still... Very cool, uh, and I'll probably catch you guys later doing a little uh, stage creator action or playing some of your guys' stages uh, probably later on tonight. All right, guys, catch you later.